Hi and welcome to this lesson for Do I Know You from Black Box Revelation. It's a fairly easy song uh, and we'll take a look at both the song and the solo. Uh, the song itself is really easy, the solo is easier than it sounds. Um, so let's start. Alright, so the intro and verse part is fairly easy. It's only three basic chords. It's the um, E chord. <laughs> That's uh, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. Right? And then you got the C chord. That's uh, 0, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0. And then you got the A chord. That's 0, 0, 2, 2, 2. And 0, of course. So you play. So try to do, after every stroke, try to um, mute the strings with your palm so you get this choppy sound, otherwise it doesn't sound the same. So you play uh, the E chord twice and then you go to the C once, so and then you go to A and then um, the second time you play the downstroke with just the A on the um, fretboard but then the upstroke, you release the chord, so... Right? So you got... And that's it. Uh, this part just repeats itself. Uh, the second stroke on the E string, you can put your pinky on the bottom string, a third fret, to make it sound a little bit better. He plays it like this, uh, especially in the chorus. We'll see that in a minute. Um, so you can add that pinky if you hit the bottom uh, strings by accident. Um, doesn't really matter a lot, but um, if you want to play it correctly, uh, you can do it. So that's it for the um, intro and verse. Let's take a look at the chorus. Then the chorus is um, about the same. It's uh, five chords this time. We just add two chords at the end. Uh, so we have uh, E with the, the pinky on the third uh, uh, fret on the bottom. We have the C, we have A, and then we have G, which is uh, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, and uh, 3. And then we have um, a bar chord. Uh, it's actually a power chord, I don't know the exact name. Um, but you bar the uh, five um, strings, uh, the, you, you try to block the top string, so you bar on the second fret, and with your pinky you bar like the third, fourth and fifth string uh, on the fourth fret, so you got two, four, four, right? And it sounds like that. Just hit the, uh, the top strings, right? So the chorus sounds like this. Right, so it repeats itself. So you play with the, the E, you play top strings, down strokes, but then try to hit the bottom um, strings as well. So. You got the C and then A, and then G short, and then the uh, power chord short. So. And that's it for the chorus. Uh, let's take a look at the solo. Alright, so now we'll take a look at the solo. I won't play it entirely uh, at first, but uh, in the end we'll put all the parts together. Um, so, we start at the um, 14th fret, 3rd string from the top. And 12th fret, 3rd string from the bottom. Right, so he plays. So you play... Um, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, and try to um, so upstroke on the 14 and downstroke on the 12. So you like bounce in between the um, strings, so that will make it faster. So so 
So it's uh, three short bends uh, after the 14-12, um, 14-12, 14-12, three short bends on the 14th fret uh, on the third string from the bottom. And then a long high one. And then the second time he plays 14-12-14-12-14, so... And then he plays on the 12th fret, 3rd string from the bottom. So the same, uh, 4 times, 3 times uh, small bend, bend 4 times uh, longer bend, so those two parts are... And then he plays... So he plays 14 on the 4th string from the bottom and then 12 third string and then 14 fourth string and then 14 on the third string and he bends it up and then he jumps to the second string from the bottom to the 16th fret and there he bends it pretty high too so we got And then he goes to the top string and he plays 15, 12, 10. After this, he plays um, a, a double bend twice. So he goes on 14th string, 14 on the third string from the bottom, 14th fret, sorry, 14th fret, uh, third string from the bottom. And then he jumps to 12. And that's a really long bend, so it's just two short bends on 14th fret, a third string from the bottom. And then he goes to 12 and he does a really long bend. And uh, you gradually bend it up, so you don't bend it up um, immediately. Um, so, so far we have this. And then he plays. And that's the end of the solo. So what he does is he plays 12th fret on the third uh, string from the bottom, 12, and then he goes up one string, 12, and then 14 on the same string, and then 12 on the third string again, and then a bend on the 14th fret, third string. So he does, right, slow, and then he goes 12-14 on the 4th string from the bottom, and then he goes 12-14, so 12-14, 12-14, just 4th string and 3rd string, and then he bends 14, and with your index, you're gonna hit the bottom string on the 12th fret, that's the end. Um, so I'll do the entire solo slowly so you can try and play along. Uh, you can pause it, rewind it, whatever you need um, and then uh, you'll be able to play it. So from the top And that's um, the chorus again. Um, so that's it for the solo. Alright, that was the entire song. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I promise it wouldn't be too hard. I don't think it is. Um, and as always, enjoy playing along with the song. And see you next time. Thank you.